This is my video response to Ahuvia, who has apparently taken it upon himself to uh, record his response without wearing his face optionally or leaving it out. So I'm just going to respond directly with my a uh, few of my own thoughts. First off, I, you know, I am heterosexual. I am straight. That's just the way I am. It's not a have-to situation. I never seen it. I've rarely seen it that way. I have at one point, but guess what? I've seen the other viewpoints, and they did not treat and they did not fare to me so so much. They gross me. They mostly grossly am out. Therefore, that is what I am, and I am happy to stay that way. And I want to continue to be heterosexual. I am happy with myself there. And I will admit that with other people, there are differences that I feel most uncomfortable about and around, such as, yes, gays, well, gay men, anyway. I like lesbians. Smokers? Definitely the smokers. Can anybody tell me why smoking isn't stupid? I don't think so. And just most other males in gender in general, because I get along better with women anyway. That's not really my fault, that's just part of my dang brain function with the missing links in my brain and whatever. But that does not define me as an uncaring and cold-hearted person. I have empathy. I see, I can put myself in other people's shoes and see how they would feel if I had, if I uh, my responses into whatever situations. And yet you may, and while you may or may not have empathy as well, Ahuvia, I feel you to still be a typical non-understanding pig. I would go, I would travel outside of the state if or, or wherever if I could, but because A, I am on low funds, and I would get a job, but unfortunately, because of all the shit that's against me on the internet, between the hate-filled web pages that y'all trolls and cyberboys have created against me, and the past videos that I was blackmailed and deceived and just plain forced into creating, with such derogatory graphic smut and literal shit within them, it just makes it that much more difficult for me to be able to get a job. Because they do the background checks, they look on Facebook, they look on YouTube, they look everywhere. They don't just do criminal records anymore. Ask anybody. And I would travel if I could, but my parents are both old. My father is ill. He's sickly. He has feet bloatings. And he has ailments that doctors are unable to determine. And at this point, he's now certified as a forced shut-in. He cannot get out so much because he feels so ill and sickly on his feet. And I do get out of my house. I go out here and there and everywhere. So don't tell me that I don't get out. I'm free as a bird. And this bird, Pete, and this bird, you cannot change. Yes, I just learned from Laird Skynard, and I like that song. And. Listen, I want you to listen to me here. I am all for equality, but there is a limit. I do not want to be forced or intimidated into or bullied into lifestyles that I just not am of or feel comfortable around. And if this was a country where people would not feel forced to do anything, And whatever. And yes, marriage should be between two happy people, regardless of uh, gender or whatever. But I'm still going to feel most uncomfortable around homosexual dudes, regardless. And just most other males in general. Hell, I probably won't even have a bachelor party because I don't know so many males. I'll probably be having a bachelor party, mostly constituted with those within my congregation who I'm only acquainted with a, with like one or two of. Hell, I would even appreciate having a bachelor party where I had all my gal pals.
trying to think of the word, you know. Um, well, anyway, with my anyway, with mostly women, because I feel more comfortable r around women. Platonic, that's the word I would use. The party would be platonic. And likewise, if my bride had mostly male friends, I'd let her hang out with them platonically as well for her bride party. And you know what? I don't care whether I get a bachelor party or not around the time I do get married. Because that's just, that's just me. And I cannot be changed. So I would so I would say, good luck being a fake woman because you'll never be able to achieve true femdom, and you'll always be a dang homosexual male because you were born that way. You're gonna stay that way pretty much, even if you're gonna if you have your dick either chopped off or tucked in. People are still gonna look at you so ill in the majority of this country. Anyway, that is my response for now. Damn, homo.